my most amazing first and second grade artists at Kip Dream Prep. This is Mr. Hurlbert, and I am so excited to be talking to y'all today. So what I am doing right now is I am using my iPad, and I'm using the program Procreate to draw my sketch for the mask that I would like to create next week. So this week in our lesson, we talked about mask making and masks, and now your assignment is to draw a sketch for the mask that you would like to create next week. And in your sketch, you need to include an animal that is your favorite animal. So we are basing our mask off of very, very simple masks that are uh, from Asian art where you have like a very simple mask with maybe some details on the eyes and then a beautiful animal featured in the center. So I decided to take that a little bit further and what I did is I went ahead and I added some extra details to the eyes. Um, as you guys can see, the animal that I chose to focus on were snakes and here I've drawn three. Um, the reason why I've drawn three is because I just feel like three is a very good number, uh, especially with a snake. It's it's very long and thin there. And so with the snake, I feel like three of them just suits the drawing and the mask well. So what I'm doing now is I'm going through and doing something with Procreate so that I'm able to color it in for y'all. The reason why I chose to use Procreate this week is because that way you guys can fully see me drawing and sketching out my mask without seeing my hand. Uh, I really think then you can get a full image of what's going on as I'm creating. So as I said before, all I'm doing is just breaking my drawing down into parts so that I can color it in. I am super excited for y'all to create your mask sketch is and see um, what your drawings are going to, to look like and how that can translate. One thing to keep in mind is that we are going to be, like I said, making a mask the next week. And so while you're thinking about the mask that you want to make and the animal that's there, think about the materials you have at home to create the mask. So I will tell you all right now, um, one material that I suggest using is saving cardboard from, from a, a cardboard box. So it could be either like a box that you got in the mail or from like a cereal box. Uh, that can be used as the main base for your mask since we don't have the actual art materials like plaster to create it. So now what I've done um, in my picture is I've colored in the snakes and I'm adding pattern to kind of make it look like scales and I, I, I'm as I'm doing that I thought about like how could I recreate this when I'm making it into my actual mask. So one that's one thing you want to think about for sure because this sketch is like your plan for your mask making and you have to remember that you're taking your sketch and you're turning it into a 3d form so our big uh one of our big vocabulary words this week besides mask is form and that's one of our elements of art because what we're doing is we're creating the sketch of the mask and then we're transforming it into a three-dimensional mask, meaning that it's something physical that we can touch in real life, and it's got three dimensions, whereas our drawing is on a flat two-dimensional piece of paper, right? And so we've even talked about that earlier, how like when we were drawing our still lifes and doing our value skills, how we add value in a drawing to make it look more realistic and make the objects in the drawing look like they have form. So the other way that we use form is through sculpture. And so that is our other vocabulary word. So now what I've done is I've, I'm coloring in the mouth and then I will be going in and coloring in um, the face as well. Uh, I decided that I wanted to add more details on the outer ends of my mask uh, instead of just having it be a, a uh, kind of like an oval I decided that I wanted to add some spikes at the end and maybe some like ornamental like squares on top and you can do the same thing as well it doesn't have to be super simple where it's just like a, a, a where it's just like an oval 
you can go ahead and add details on the outside to really make it your own. Remember, um, mask making is a way to express your diversity and individuality and express yourself. And so I want this mask to be your mask and for you to be happy. So this ended up being my final mask and I'm super excited with the way it turned out and how it'll translate next week. So have fun creating yours and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.